Hey guys, it's your girl Gia. I'm back with another video. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Um, for those of you who don't know me, my name is Gia. Um, Swerving, how you look so perfect on your worst days. Double C it purses, you deserve it. Niggas in your DM, they be thirsty. And in person, but you're curving. Curvy little body, look at surface. Yeah, I'm alone, your body make you nervous. I like the way you keep up with your earnings. It's okay. And today, as you can tell from the title of this video, I'm going to be doing an opinion video on some pretty touchy slash serious topics. Before I get into this video, I would just like to say, no, this is not my real hair. These are feed and braids. Yes, when I do get the hang of them more, because this is only my second time doing them, I will do a tutorial on it. Um, and I'm sick. So, if it looks like I have boogers at the bottom of my nose, I don't, I promise, okay? It's Vaseline because from me blowing my nose, my skin got really raw and sensitive. And it actually hurt really bad. So, I had to put Vaseline right there. But anyways, let's get straight into this video. Um, another thing is, please don't get offended. I'm not making this video to start an argument. I'm making this video because it was requested and because I like to share my opinion. Anyways, I'm here with my um, handy dandy notebook. Anyways, our first topic is abortion. Do I like it? No. Do I agree with it? No. Under certain, certain circumstances, should it be allowed? Yes. I hate to be that person. Um, but in my opinion, the only reason or reasons that someone should get an abortion is if their child was conceived through rape or they already know that their child has severe health problems and they're trying to help them from that I guess you can kind of say but besides that if you just got pregnant by willingly having sex then you should have been more careful you're taught from when you're younger to have protected sex so then that it's your fault I hate to be the one to say it but even then at the same time even with the whole baby being conceived from rape thing technically the mother could still carry it and give it up for adoption but I understand that in many circumstances the mother carrying around the baby or keeping the baby can be very traumatic so yeah now let's get off of that I really don't have a lot to say about abortion because my feelings are mixed about abortion anyways now let's talk about immigrants I hate that term so much immigrants illegals I hate it all it's just like I love all ethnicities and races and no not even races let me get this straight real quick there's only one race and that is the human race we made all of these other names just to separate each other but in all honesty we're all the same we're all the same okay I'm sorry to say it. we're all the same Black people are only black because they went outside more. And the white people, the slave masters, were in the house. That is, if they would have went outside, they would have been black too. Like, ugh, it makes me so mad. But anyways, I feel as though people are not understanding that even though the United States is as messed up as it is, it's one of the better countries. Our government is one of the better governments so a lot of people come here to have a better life to give their kids a better life so i feel as though just because somebody wasn't born here that doesn't mean that they don't have the right to be here everybody has a right to try to better themselves and better their lives their kids lives their families lives whatever the case might be yes 
I understand that they want it to be legal and they want people to become citizens, but now it's become so hard for people to do that, that they're scared to get rejected and then still basically sneak into the country anyways. In all honesty, even without immigrants, drug, drugs and criminals were here anyways. I'm sorry to say it. Like, okay, yeah, some people may come here for some reason to sell drugs, but most people do not. Oh boy, I had to get a coffee drop. I was about to die. <coughs> anyways, like I was saying, um, drugs are going to be here anyways. I hate to say it. You can get rid of all of the immigrants, and I promise you, drugs are still going to get into the country because there's drugs being made in the country people try to blame immigrants for the reason that there is crime and drugs no white people do stuff black people do stuff freaking hispanics that were born here do stuff asians that were born here do stuff every there's people from every race that do things, and it's not just because of immigrants that bad things are happening. Look at the president. But, hey, we're going to get to that later in the video. I do not agree at all that people should be labeled because immigrants and illegals is a word. To me, it's like a racial slur because they're using it to belittle them to make them feel less than and i don't agree with it at all give them the opportunity help them grow help them make their lives better anyways next topic strict parents okay strict parents strict parents make sneaky kids like i hate to be the one to say it but especially with this generation if you have a strict parent you're gonna sneak and date you're gonna sneak and go to parties you're gonna sneak and do this you're gonna sneak and do that because you're not allowed to do it and also it's kind of like fixated in most people's minds that when they're told not to do something it makes them want to do it and I'm one of those people so I know but I feel like you should be strict with your child to a certain extent because what a lot of adults don't realize is that they were once children doing this thing and I understand though that like they're like oh well I want my child to do better blah 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 people are gonna make mistakes whether your child makes mistakes now while they're your responsibility or when they're older and they're on their own people are going to make mistakes regardless and the best thing that you can do is just help your child grow strict parents create toxic relationships with their kids when parents are too strict on their kids their kids don't feel comfortable going to their parents when they mess up they don't go to their parents for help they try to fix it themselves because they're scared of what their parents are going to do or what they're going to think because a lot of parents don't realize how toxic they are and how mentally and verbally abusive they are and how they're literally like tearing down their child most people that have overly strict parents fall into depressions end up doing like hella illegal activities and it just results badly but adults will look at it like oh i'm strict because i want them to do blah 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 in life and then they don't even end up doing that because you tore them down so much that they just didn't do it so i just feel like adults parents need to understand their children communicate with your children be there for your children don't be so quick to jump down their throat because you're not realizing what you're doing to them i know so many people that go through stuff get bullied 
I know um, people that have gotten raped. I know people that have been through so much and they're scared to go to, to their parents about things that are not even their fault because of how strict their parents are. So I just feel like as a parent, you need to make sure that you're building a healthy relationship with your kid. I'm not saying like, oh, don't have rules, don't have boundaries, blah, blah, blah. But make them reasonable. Make it so your kid is comfortable with you. I get it. I don't get it, actually. But I somewhat understand when parents are like, oh, I'm not your friend. I'm here to, like, help and guide you. And that's more of the reason why you should be wanting a relationship with your kid. You feel me? But, yeah. Okay, so next topic, dating. Dating is weird because, <coughs> Lord, dating is weird because nowadays, like with teenagers, dating is considered talking and it's just weird because so many people look at it in different ways and I'm just like, if we're talking or dating, you don't need to be entertained with nobody else. You're doing things that you wouldn't want me doing. Treat it like it's almost the relationship. You get what I'm trying to say? But I feel like a lot of people, well not a lot of people, but just, I feel like you have to go through the dating slash talking to stage before you jump into the relationship because labels change everything. It change. It changes how you guys act towards each other. It changes how people act towards you. So you need to like prepare for that and build yourself up for that. Drugs. Let's talk about drugs real quick. First of all, cancer sticks. I hate them. Cigarettes, in other words. Um, I hate them so much. Like, oh, the smell of them is disgusting. Okay? That's first of all. Second of all, hardcore drugs. Um crack heroin um lsd um zans um mushroom i can't think of anything else right now um they need to go <coughs> they're not helpful in any kind of way well no, no, no. I know, like, some people get prescribed exams for whatever reason. But all those other drugs need to go. There's no need for them. Too many people die from them. It makes people crazy, rot your teeth out, it makes you look old. They just need to go. I do not agree with those type of drugs at all. However, the drug that I do agree with is marijuana. I agree with it 100%. You can't, well, you can if you smoke like hella pounds but you can't overdose from marijuana you don't start tripping and hallucinating when you're high off marijuana marijuana literally causes no harm there's no harm that comes from marijuana and for some reason it's illegal but tobacco that causes cancer rots out your teeth and does all of these other things is legal okay that makes a lot of sense okay next topic um somebody said dudes okay males let's talk about males real quick my opinion on males are women need to be lighter on males because in most instances <coughs> <coughs> crap in most instances males are taught like if they show emotion that they're babies or cry babies or the b word or whatever the case might be so when you're taught that no when you're taught anything from a young age and it's repeatedly excuse me and it's repeatedly plans it into your head of course when you get older it's just gonna stay there it's common sense. So, women are always getting mad because men don't want to share their feelings and stuff like that. 
you have to let him become comfortable you have to let him know that he's in a safe environment that he can trust you and that you're not going to judge him for it because he grew up being judged that every time he cried every time he showed emotion he was a cry baby he was a baby he was a b-word whatever the case might be so women just honestly need to lighten up on dudes another thing for dudes is Uh, cough drop is nasty but another thing for dudes is bragging about having sex with a girl is not cool it's not cool at all um sex is something that should be valued and when you go around telling people that you had sex with a girl and try to brag about it it shows that you have no morals and no respect for yourself or that girl because yeah other dudes might think that it's cool but other people will get you like you're stupid now anyways let's um move on love hmm love <coughs> oh love is a very interesting word or feel so like i don't know how to describe my opinion on love okay i guess you can say my opinion on love would be to not play with it like i, I don't know like when somebody's showing you how much they love and care about you don't take that for granted like just don't do it don't tell somebody that you love them if you don't because that really hurts um like most people nowadays grow up without really having love like my main source of somebody giving me love is my mom because my dad's not in the picture and he hasn't been for a very long time so like the only love that i really know is from my mom so like when people try to show me that they love and care about me it kind of gets like it catches me off guard like it really does but i don't know i don't have too much to say about that because i'm still figuring out love myself okay cheating let me just get straight to it cheating is disgusting and it's stupid as hell and if you feel like for some reason that person is not fulfilling your needs or making you happy talk to them give them the chance to change or if you just don't want to and you want to find something new leave them now next topic teen pregnancy <sighs> you know what sex is on here too so we're just gonna talk about teen pregnancy and sex at the same time people do not understand that now sex is normal even back then sex is normal it's going to happen as a teenager unless you have like one of those cool parents or a uh, older brother or sister or whatever the case might be and they're like <coughs> oh and they're like offering you condoms or whatever most girls are not just going to go to their parents and be like, oh, can I get on birth control? No, it's, just, it's really not going to happen. Most males are not going to go and be like, can I get some condoms? Like, no, it's just not going to happen. So, well, in most cases. So, if a teenage girl is to get pregnant, then I feel as though that it should be up to her whether she wants to keep it or not not saying to abort it but whether she wants to keep it and raise it herself or give it up for adoption because me i always just feel like people should keep their kids no matter how you got it i just feel like you should keep it because killing your baby is not it and putting your baby up for adoption there's no telling in how long it's going to take and then they're just going to be in the system and the system is so terrible so i feel as though when a teenage girl is to get pregnant she should have the option 
Um, and she shouldn't get bashed for it. There's no need. In all honesty, most of our parents got pregnant as teenagers. So you being the child of a teenage mom have no room to talk about another female getting pregnant as a teenager. Um, my advice to teen moms is reach out to other teen moms. Reach out to people who have been pregnant or may have lost a child. Um, because it's always just good to get other people's opinions because even though you shouldn't get bashed for it, you're still going to because this world is just so messed up. But I just feel as though, yeah, you should try to protect yourself. You should wait until you're ready. But if you do so happen to get pregnant, then you should be able to be comfortable in it. if you are pregnant or you are a teenage mom and you ever want to talk about anything feel free to hit me up add me on snapchat and follow me on instagram and i will gladly talk to you and give you the best amount of advice that i can um the next topic is well kind of question can exes be friends this day and age, no. Due to the simple fact that people's trust issues are so severe that your current partner will not trust you to be friends with your ex and it'll just cause problems. Um, and I know a lot of people are like, oh, well, there's no trust and there's no relationship. But there's just certain things that are just really sketch. Like, um, I would not be comfortable with Jalen being friends with his exes because I know how his exes are and even if they have like a boyfriend or something they'll still try to come on to him so it doesn't have anything to do with the fact that I don't trust Jalen or anything like that but I just wouldn't be comfortable because of how they are and that's how a lot of people look at it so to me it just depends on your partner or <coughs> y'all's feelings towards each other anyways oh, we saved the worst topic for last Donald Trump now my opinion on Donald Trump <coughs> is that he's driving this country straight to the ground people will be like oh well he's donating or giving up his whole presidential salary it's because he doesn't need it okay he literally became the president for the publicity for the popularity he doesn't care about this country or the people in it he literally preaches hate to gain votes when he doesn't realize that while he's doing that when he's preaching all this hate about other cultures and black people and Hispanic people and stuff like that, those other racist people that are like crazy and racist are looking at us some type of way, are killing us, are beating us, freaking verbally abusing us. By him trying to get a vote, he's endangering other people's lives. And I find that crazy. It's just crazy. Like, how could you call yourself the president of the United States when you don't give a rat? Oh, Lord, I was bad to say something I could not say on here. You're calling yourself the president and you don't even care about these people or what happens to these people. You just want people to worship you. You're not a god. You're a regular person, just like me. We're not the same, but we're both people. We both bleed the same. All of this now, all of his money, his popularity, his fame, it's not going to go with him when he dies. So it doesn't matter. So the fact that he has the audacity to be and run and 
call himself the president of the United States is ridiculous. He is ridiculous. Like, oh, he, I just dislike him so much. And I am praying to God that this is his first and only time in office. I'm literally praying to God that that is how it goes. I do not like that man at all. I do not like what he's doing with the country. I do not like the hate that he preaches. I do not like any of it. <sighs> but I guess we can talk about, we, well, we can go more in depth with that another day. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. If you did like this video, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you are uh, subscribing and when you subscribe tap that little bell to get my post notification so you know when I post also I announced in my previous video in the description that I will now be posting on Saturdays Tuesdays and Thursdays so make sure that you stay tuned for that I have a lot of great content coming up for you guys and I just really hope that you enjoyed it also please um share with your friends and your family spread the word um i'm going to start doing giveaways soon so just stay tuned for that um but yeah so follow my instagram and add me on snapchat the links will be in the description i love you all so much and i really hope that you enjoy yeah. Yeah. So so yeah, nigga got the sauce on me. Uh, boss like a young nigga was also me. Uh,